Our next guest is a very funny and often shirtless performer. His new comedy special, Razzle Dazzle, is on Netflix now. Please welcome Bert Kreischer. <laughs> That's a shirt you want to keep on, right? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that shirt? Uh, it was left after a threesome. I just <laughs> picked it up. I was like, that dude, it worked for him. So. <laughs> How are you? I am fantastic. It's great to have you here. For those who are not familiar with your work, you have <laughs> led an adventurous life. Is that fair to say? Yeah. I'm the luckiest dude. I'm a drunk Forrest Gump. <laughs> You've had some unbelievable experiences that are detailed in your specials. You uh, you somehow got mixed up with the Russian mafia, a lot of drinking, uh, some drugs. Uh, you fought a bear one time. But I have to say, the most shocking thing I think I've ever learned about you, and I learned this listening to you uh, with Tom Segura on your podcast, um, is how much Kool-Aid you drink. Yeah. Daily. I didn't even think that was odd. That's what I loved about it, that I, you did not realize that it was unusual to drink how much? A 64-ounce growler. A 64-ounce growler yeah. of Kool-Aid every single day. Well, during COVID, they told us hydration was very important. <laughs> and so I, I took that literal. I didn't think, I, re, I still don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's really good. I swear to God, if you... Get a growler, take it on a plane, <laughs> right? Half a Xanax, maybe a vape pen. <laughs> and you have a treat. Just wait. Anytime panic kicks in, the way weed will happen, just go, hey, I got Kool-Aid. <laughs> I love it. Hey, there, and the, shout out to Kool-Aid. If you want to sponsor me, Kool-Aid and Pop-Tarts, um, <laughs> they give you the little skinny stick, zero calories. Oh, so you're mixing it in the plane. You're asking for liquid oh. and, yeah. Bro, I am so weird on a plane. <laughs> Secret time, if I have to fart, I'll get one of those prepackaged coffee filters, shove it under my ass, and let it rip the whole flight. Is it, does that work? It, 100 per, dude next to me is like, I could go for a coffee. I'm like, <laughs> I bet you could, Captain. Yeah, That's, and that works, that, that totally works. <laughs> <laughs> An excellent tip. I'm surprised Martha Stewart didn't share that one with us. <laughs> so you, uh, are you able, I know you have two teenage girls, like yeah. as a father, are you able to discipline them in any way? Like, can you tell them don't do something when you're? Yeah, I'm actually, I, I, I'm not the dad you think I am. Like, I think people are like, I'm like, oh, you know, weed's cool and mushrooms. I am a very strict parent, overbearing, like, uh, my oldest, Georgia, got caught smoking weed. Leanne caught her, and I was working. I was working on a TV show. I was at lunch. She texted me. She's like, caught Georgia smoking weed, and immediately I'm like, where did she get it? She's like, are you being serious? I was like, it's my weed? <laughs> like, I don't have 15-year-old virgin weed. I got high-end, high blood pressure. I'm having panic attacks in the middle of the night thinking about death. It goes dark one day weed. Like, I, that's the weed I smoke, and so I light up. I, I, now. Sidebar, I'm having lunch with Snoop Dogg, okay? <laughs> so, swear to God, you, with the night that we hung out, last time we hung out where I made you give 25 grand? Right. At that charity? At the charity event, yeah, right. I, I, so I cleared this with Snoop. <laughs> I, th he, I go, I, I, this is my exact words as a parent. I said, uh, this isn't over. I'm going to light her ass up. Tonight, this ends when she's crying. And I hung up. Not my best parenting moment. <laughs> Did that make your wife feel, like, reassured? No, my no. wife was like, you have weed in the house? What did you expect? Right. We had an alcohol sponsor. They were stealing those from our podcast. Shout out to, I won't mention. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, it was a great sponsor. Now, <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, we lost them. So, so Snoop's sitting across from me. He hears me hang up, and he's like, problems on the home front? And I go, I go, yeah, real bad. And he goes, can I ask? I go, my daughter got caught smoking weed. And Snoop's like, that's it? <laughs> I go, she's 15, Snoop. And he goes, OK. <laughs> and he goes, and you going to light her ass up? I was like, yeah, until she cries. I was like, yeah. He goes, how old were you when you first smoked weed? I said, that's irrelevant. <laughs> I go, 14. And he goes, OK. 
Can I give you some parenting advice, one dad to another dad? And you forget he's a dad, right? Like, you think yeah. he's just Snoop. Yeah. I go, yeah, okay. And he goes, don't be such a bitch. <laughs> he goes, it ain't pills, it ain't powder, it's weed, man. And then Snoop Dogg says to me, you just upset because your daughter doesn't need you anymore. She's growing up. <laughs> right? Wow. And I'm sitting there like, what the f Come on, Snoop. <laughs> He goes, yeah, man, I ain't gonna let that happen to my niece. Not today. You ain't gonna light her up at all. You come into my trailer, I'm gonna get you high. <laughs> you ain't making that call. And Jimmy, he got me so high in his trailer. Swear to God, I handed the joint to the mirror. And I, <laughs> I said, take it. I think he's trying to kill me. <laughs> Dave Chappelle called, FaceTimed us that night. It was the craziest night of my life. We might have ended up in a shower. My point is, <laughs> Snoop's a great dad. <laughs> wow. That's <laughs> crazy. Are you always like this with your kids, where you're like? I was. I was the, I lied a lot to them. Uh -huh. Like, uh, like, like uh, cr Christmas one year, they put up a GoPro on the mantle. I see it. They're, they're morons. Uh, how old are the kids at this time? Who knows? I don't never know how old they are. <laughs> they weren't wearing wristwatches uh, like that old. <laughs> so so I, I, pull, I go, what's up? And they go, can we talk to you for a second? And I'm like, yeah. They bring me to George's room. They're like, Dad, we think Mom is Santa Claus. <laughs> I'm like, that bitch. <laughs> Are you serious? I go, what? I'm married to her. What is happening? She's lying to us? And then Isla goes, Dad, I hate to blow it up, but I think she's a tooth fairy. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, who thinks she all the lies? I'm going to have to divorce her. What are we going to do? They go, don't worry. We're going to catch her. So then they leave. And I, now I see this. I don't tell Leanne. I don't do anything. At night, Christmas Eve, I get dressed in bells with a white glove. I get under the mantle. I, I walk right in. The GoPro's still rolling. I walk in, jingle, 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 under the mantle, reach up with the glove, <laughs> turn it around so they can't see anything. We set up a perfect Christmas, get back under, white glove, turn it back around, boom. I edit it on Apple Movie. That night, Christmas night, they're like, Mom, we want you to watch something. We hit it, and it is like James Cameron good. It is so good. It is so good that my daughter Georgia sees it and starts crying. My dad's like next to me, he's seven. He's like, what the f <laughs> My sisters are like, we caught Santa? <laughs> My daughter's like, dad, we need to tell the news. I go, baby, we can't. <laughs> Think of all the Jewish kids that can't have Hanukkah anymore. It's so sad. <laughs> and then and they go, mommy, we're so sorry. We're so sorry. They hug her. Leanne's like, what did I do? And I was like, you got away with one today, Leanne. <laughs> My dad goes, what was that? I said, I edited it. And he goes, I go, is it good? And he goes, is it good? He goes, I'm 70 years old. I believe in Santa. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He goes, buddy, I think you just messed up your kids. I go, no, dad, that's how you believe, get them to believe. He goes, I got, there's 12 year olds who don't believe in Jesus. What are you trying? He goes, oh, you got to go tell them. I was like, not today. It's a job well done, I think. Thank you, Jimmy. Tell me about this. Um, you have a cruise yes. coming up. And when I say you have a cruise, it is the Burt Kreischer Cruise. Burt Kreischer Cruise. I've wanted to do this for a very long time since I found out Kid Rock did it. It is, I love cruises. Look, I am a typical bro, all right? I love cruises. I love, I love tailgating. I love football. And I've been wanting to do this cruise forever. I haven't drank in 65 days leading up to this cruise. I'm not sober. I'm smoking weed like crazy. But <laughs> I'm not sober. Like, but, uh, and so I will be drinking day 84 when we hit this cruise, October 27th. It goes out of Miami. All, I am so pumped, Jimmy. These are all your fans. Oh, it's all my fans and all my favorite comics. All the hard partying comics are coming. And so it is going to be, I'll be shocked if we all come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You, they're going to tear you to pieces on that oh, thing. Oh, bro, I plan on blacking out so bad that my wife throws up. Like, <laughs> it's going to be, I've, I'm training for the cruise. Like, I've, I haven't drank since I last saw you. I think it was the last time. And I'm, I'm, I'm ready, man. Will you even bring a shirt on this, on this cruise? Mm, no. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, bro, I'm in my natural habitat with no shirt. I'm from Florida, OK? <laughs> I knew two dudes without tongues. That's Florida, all right? <laughs> Tongueless Brett and haw. Like, <laughs> this cruise was meant for me. Well, I hope Tongueless Brent is going to be a part of the cruise. <laughs>
<laughs> it's great to see you. Congratulations. The Netflix special, it's called Razzle Dazzle. It is on now, and tickets for Bert's Top Soft World Tour, you can get at BertBertBert.com. Bert, 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 Bert Kreischer, everybody. Thank you, Bert. We'll be